our job is to move heat around. We move the, the ambient heat that's absorbed into the buildings from the buildings uh, through chilled water infrastructure piping to our facility. Then we remove that, that heat that's accumulated from the buildings, uh, run it through a chill the chillers themselves, and then the chillers liberate that heat to cooling towers, which is then uh, uh, liberates it back to the atmosphere. So we're really just moving heat from point A to point B. This tower um, is removing the heat from the condenser water uh, through evaporation, uh, and we're using it for our temporary chillers that we have out in the yard. The Yale University uh, facilities, we generate approximately 65% of the electricity that we consume, that the campus consume. We also uh, generate all of the chilled water uh, that, uh, that goes for campus, uh, campus cooling. Uh, that's done with a centralized plant setup, as opposed to having a bunch of air conditioners located all around the, uh, the, uh, the campus. It's mm -hmm. done with a central, central facility. So as Les and Tom mentioned, uh, we operate a centralized chilled water facility that is operationally much more efficient than having air conditioners and chillers in buildings all over campus. It also allows us to purchase larger, more efficient equipment. That equipment saves the university uh, up front, it saves the university in terms of operating cost, and it saves the university in terms of our greenhouse gas emissions and contributes to our uh, sustainability goals.